she prepared the test by doing most of the practice exams. I think she did around eight of them. Some of them, the school actually helped her do it during school time. And the other, she did it at home. So she prepared for it about two or three weeks before, and we would try to do it like every other day. And yeah, so that she got used to all the fact that it's proctored. It was her first proctored test and making sure that she took her time. She took her when she's answering the questions to make sure that she's trying, because sometimes she tries to solve it in her head. And so, of course, sometimes within her head, she misses the question or makes a mistake. It, it was good because she doing all the practice tests made her sit down and really when she makes a mistake, she realizes where she made her mistake was and then she corrected herself. So her tests were actually getting better and better as she was doing it. Ishan focused on this in two ways. Uh, first, I think as part of his ongoing school curriculum, he sharpened uh, some of the uh, sections what he was learning through additional exercise, through additional sums and all of that. Second was, I would say that I did opt for the test papers. And to me, I think that doing 10 test papers in that limited time. So in the initial, maybe four or five papers, he would take extended time. But then the important thing is to get a feel around what kind of questions are asked in the exams or say in the test and then the maybe the last five or six he would do it within the time frame and to me i think that actually helped him to get a feel around what kind of questions what's the pressure of time limit all of that so a combination of what he was learning in the school and doing the test paper series both of this actually prepared ishan for the exams so as uh, she mentioned, as soon as he would finish one test, so at the same time he was preparing for his school exams, because he was preparing already for one exam, he felt that was useful for this challenge as well. So there wasn't any extra work that he needed to do. So basically what he was doing already through his school that he was preparing. But I think it, he paid a bit more attention on the international maths challenge, just focusing his mind on the types of questions that may be around. Uh, and also using some of the, I think, uh, past papers or specimen papers that were available, which helped him to focus. Rodrigo prepared uh, for the test by using the practice test. I bought the package, the complete package, and he immersed himself in the provide materials. Uh, and he started to practice, uh, strategically measure his time to effectively distribute it uh, during the real test. This approach aimed not only to master the content, but also to enhance his efficiency in responding properly. The practice test proved an invaluable in familiarizing him with the format and challenges going to the real test. My children prepared for the test, like they said, by doing a couple of practice tests the day before. We have four children in our household, so it's very busy. So the preparation was really seamless from the organisation side, and we didn't have to do a whole big run up to do the practice test. So it was really easy for them to be able to understand what is needed for the test and do a bit of practice beforehand. We practiced by purchasing the, the package that had sample tests. I think there were about 10 sample tests in them. Lunis did about two tests a day and we did that for um, a week or so before, um, just to have an idea what the actual test is going to be. Actually, he didn't spend a lot of time preparing for the test. One thing because is he's usually felt pretty confident in math. And, but I did see that he spent some time working on the model test provided from the website. Actually, I didn't see one ball practice for the test particularly, but he works very hard. I see he practice math every day at home. Should he prepares for the test by doing some mock assessments online on the website. And I think the school has done very well in preparing the students for these competitions because they have a very vigorous academic schedule and they are continuously being challenged on a daily basis up to their abilities. So I think it is a constant preparation which the school has helped. 
practiced uh, uh, old pa- past uh, competition papers which ever available in the website and he will do maths every day and uh, he really enjoys doing maths that is a practice he did at home so that helped him to um, uh, go well in the competition one he's prepared a bit to get the structure right a few days in advance as well as he's generally very interested in mathematics mathematics is his most favorite subject so in general he enjoys has fun with mathematics so that meant he didn't have to prepare extra for the test but i think it was more about getting the structure and a practice of how do you sit in an exam for which he did on a regular basis about 10 or 12 days ahead of the exam